I was honestly scared and I don't know why. Maybe it was the anxiety of not knowing how things will turn out. I mean, this was going to be a huge change. It was at the moment that I slowly felt how different one year has made in my life. Hi there, welcome to Martin Says. So today I'll be sharing with you my first vlog as well as an on feet experience with the Comme des Garçons play Chuck 70 Lows. Let's go! What is up? I hope you're doing great today. If you're new, welcome. My name is Martin Conde and I usually make videos on the latest hype trends, sneaker news, as well as great alternatives. Now, if you're into those kinds of things, do subscribe to the channel and always be updated. As the title suggests, this is going to be my first vlog wherein I'll be taking you to a hair journey. That is right. It's going to be my first ever haircut after a year. Wow. This has been such a crazy year and I think having a haircut in January of 2021 is going to be a great way to start things. If you are a sneakerhead, do not thread however, because this is also going to be an on feet experience with one of my favorite sneakers, the Comme des Garçons Play Chuck 70 Lowe's. Sorry, it's my dog. So today, we'll be showing you... So today we'll be going to this hairdresser that I've known since high school. Um, honestly, I haven't been there for a while since I moved out and it's gonna be, I think, years now since I've last seen them and I'm pretty excited because I do trust them and they've been giving me pretty good hairstyles since. And so for today, it's gonna be pretty experienced because I thought maybe I'll give them the chance to give me a whole new look. As you can see, I haven't shaved either and my hair is pretty crazy so it's gonna be quite a before and after result. So do check out until the end of the video to see how everything turns out as well as an overall review of the Comte des Garçons Play Chat 70 Lowe's. Let's go! Alright, so what better way to start things off than to pick an outfit? I'm not super picky when it comes to style, especially now that I'm in my 20s. I would lean more towards simpler pieces with a bit of jazz. Now for today, I was thinking of going a bit monochromatic and let the red heart of the sneaker do the topic. First is the top. I saw this one that I've had for a long time now. Luckily, it still fits pretty well. Next up is the pants because we don't want to go out in public without one. For today's outfit, I thought of going with a black pair of chinos to complement the shirt and shoes. Next is some socks. I've only recently appreciated white socks. I saw some YouTubers recommending them with white sneakers, especially with shorts. I guess gone are the days when showing your ankles were a thing, huh? Not unless you're watching this in the future and they became a thing again. Let me know in the comments down below how things have been. Do cars fly now? Lastly are the shoes. We have the ever gorgeous CDG Play Converse Chuck 70 Lowe's and some style tips I got for them are pairing them with a bit simpler pieces mainly because they already are a flex pair of sneakers and we don't want to go overboard and you know look tacky. Oh almost forgot the mask. Okay so this is very essential these days. We don't want to go out and catch some crowns now do we? Always have a mask on unless you're watching this in the future and everything's been okay well comment down below <laughs> if you want to know more about the cdg play chalk 70 lows the history and all other stuff about it you can check out my recent stick up video about them on the link above as well as on the description section below i don't know about you but one thing that i'm not a fan of when it comes to the chalk 70s are the laces i'm more of a slip-ons kind of guy comfort over style i guess Convenience has been an important factor for me recently and I don't know if this was a result of <coughs> aging but it would be nice to just slip this and go. Who knows, maybe CDG will release again a slip-on version. It was back in 2005 that Raph Simmons, Colette Meats, and Vance did a collab with CDG on a very limited pair of slip-ons. I wish they would bring this back and make it a staple like the Chuck 70s. Okay, so now we're just about to leave and here is a bit of a POV on the sneakers, looking fresh as always. And some people have asked me about the sizing on my other video, well, they usually run true to size, especially if you have normal feet or narrow feet. But for me who has a bit of a wider one, I went half size smaller. Now what that means is that I'm usually a 9.5 when it comes to the Adidas Dan Smiths. Now for this one, I went half size smaller which is a 9 and it fit me pretty well actually. 
In the end, I still suggest you go out to your Converse store or retailer and trying out their Chuck 70s to get the perfect size for you. I'm about to leave. As you can see, this is pretty much an essential here in the Philippines. So you need to have a face shield or face mask with you. So show you around. Alright, I think it's gonna rain now. Shoot. I think it already started raining. Um, here, I'll show you. Uh, I wish it's not gonna rain as hard. I'm scared for my sneakers. Uh... Let's go! Just a bit of a backstory as to why I waited for a year before having my hair cut. It was around September of 2019 that I decided to grow my hair a little bit longer, thinking that a longer style would suit me, which it did for a while. Honestly, it was fun to have it this long. I mean, first time experiencing a hair flip was amazing. Unfortunately, the pandemic happened and multiple lockdowns occurred, hence delaying my plans for a fresh 2020 look. Funny to think that this turned out to be my 2020 look, somewhat close apocalyptic. I also can't believe that I started my YouTube channel with this, a completely different person from what most people in my life know me as. Which is also a good thing I guess since I am trying to build a new person or character in my videos. Now that the new year has come, it would be best to change things up a bit. Hence, here we are in this chair, having my past slowly chopped away. It's been fun old friend and what great experiences we've had. Hopefully this new look will also give me a fresh new start at things and bring me closer to where I'm supposed to be. Wow, <laughs> this could really be a montage to a movie. I was honestly scared and I don't know why. Maybe it was the anxiety of not knowing how things will turn out. I mean this was going to be a huge change. It was at the moment that I slowly felt how different one year has made in my life. All of a sudden as I hear every cut and see my hair falling down, I realize how much I've grown over the year. I mean, yeah, technically we do every year grow, but for 2020, I actually felt the growth, especially now looking back. I've done so much in the short span of time, or at least felt like a short span of time. Then halfway through, I just felt excited. I was looking forward to the final result. I could just imagine myself in one of those makeover scenes in the movies. Then I could just feel the confidence slowly building and knowing my hairdresser, I had a feeling I would be blown away. such a great job so if you're around the Taklaban area I do highly suggest checking him out so I don't know what do you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I personally love it I really like I miss having such a short hair it's crazy really to think about how long my hair was before and I'm just very I'm just very happy I'm very overwhelmed I'm very overwhelmed I don't know what to say yet but yeah overall I really like the look and the whole experience was just Easy and breezy and uh, beautiful. <laughs> As for the CDG Play Chalk 70s low, they do live up to how they were on my first video. They are still as comfortable on the street. And as you saw, there was a little bit of rain and I was kind of hesitant at first, especially on my first few months with the shoes because they are pretty expensive and you know I didn't want them to get dirty. However, since they are Chalk 70 lows, they do come with the convenience of the pairs, meaning they're very easy to clean. Hopefully one of these days I could do a video on how to clean your own, but for now you can check out my other video on how to clean a pair of canvas sneakers. So the link's gonna be above or somewhere in the description section below. Overall, the CDG Play Converse Track 70 Slow are perfect for everyday use, especially if you're just going out and do whatever. They're actually next to the van slip-ons for me that are pretty reliable when it comes to your everyday pair of sneakers and not only that but they are a pretty good flex as well so if you are in the market i do highly suggest to check them out and if you do want to learn more i did have another video on them so you can check them out again on this description section below 
So what did you think? What did you think of this whole video? What about my first vlog? Do let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't yet, do subscribe to the channel and be updated with the latest type trends, sneaker news, as well as great alternatives. Once again, this is Martin Says and see ya.